life is so hectic these days. There is way too much going on. We've got tons of messages being shoved into our eyeballs every single day. Um, tons of stuff to do, the hustle and bustle of culture. It's just too much and it is overstimulating us and obviously having a really negative effect on our mental health as well as on our relationships and our financial wealth. It's just all too much. So this is the year to simplify. It's time for us to take back our sanity, set some boundaries, and pursue a simplified life that is a lot more fulfilling, purposeful, and intentional, and a lot less consuming and following the trends and excessively taking in too much to manage, like way too much. And um, uh, it's time for us to take back our mental health as well and find some sanity and calm and peace and contentment with our lives. So here are five things that we're gonna try out this year. We're gonna do the best that we can to simplify our lives and reach a happier existence. We're gonna, we're hoping to achieve better mental health, better relationships, we'll pursue more fulfilling hobbies, and we'll spend less time consuming, more time creating, following our passions, learning. It's gonna be really awesome. Here's five things that we're gonna try. The first one, is we're going to try a no by year, okay? Um, it's time to figure out the difference between our wants and our needs and put our foot down against buying everything that we want, every single thing. We're gonna say no to excessive consumerism and we're gonna stop following the people who preach excessive consumerism. There's a lot out there. It's pretty much a rising trend to always get exactly what you want or what the trendy thing is or what social media told you to get but when we spend all our money on all of those fun things we're left over with not enough for our needs and that's way more important including the need of having a really great savings account for any rainy day or emergency so this year, we're going to take a look at some of our wants and take a break from buying those things. I made a whole video about the 10 things that I'm not going to buy this year, and it's been rough. I need to do an update video because I haven't been 100% perfect, but I have noticed a really big difference in how intentional I've been with purchasing things. And I think another thing that helps is trying to be grateful for all the things that we do have. And the more I practice that, the slower my spending gets because I've spent more time appreciating the things that I do have in my house already and how wonderful a blessing that is. So that's a helpful place to start. But also there's more things this year that we are gonna say no to buying. We're not gonna buy them, we're gonna take a break. The second thing is we're going to do a weekly declutter. There's too much clutter in our house. There's too much overwhelming us that we are trying to manage. It's way more than we were ever intended as human beings to manage. So we're gonna go through the whole house a little bit at a time, obviously not once in one day, but each week we're gonna declutter a different area of the house. If you want to do a weekly decluttering, decluttering challenge, make sure to subscribe because I post a weekly short that reminds you to do a decluttering challenge. It has a little bit of motivation and inspiration and guidance to decluttering a different area in the house every week. So that's something we're gonna keep up for the whole year. And at the end, our whole house will be a little bit more decluttered. It's gonna feel amazing to have more space, less chaos, and know where every single thing is and be able to manage and take care of all the stuff that we do own. That will also help us to appreciate what we already have because we're intentionally taking care of it and giving it space and knowing where it is. That'll be really helpful for both 
first and second goals. Okay, next we're gonna spend less time scrolling and more time creating. So at least once a week, we're gonna set aside some time, if not daily, to work on a hobby that does not have to do with screens. <laughs> we, as fun as it is to turn on the TV or scroll on our phones or both at the same time, that is so taxing for our brain. It is so overstimulated up in here. No wonder we're feeling stressed, overwhelmed. No wonder it's hard to fall asleep at night if we've been up on our screens in the bedroom all night. Yeah, let's nix that. Let's spend um, one evening a week at least working on some sort of slow hobby that is a lot more fulfilling, something we've always wanted to learn how to do but haven't dedicated time towards. This is the year to do that, whether we're painting or baking or taking baths or drawing. It can be literally anything under the sun, but there's so much capacity for us human beings to create amazing things. So let's quit giving away all our time and attention to watching other people other lives and entertainment and instead let's spend time working on ourselves and our own intentions and passions and hobbies things that excite us and help us feel recharged and motivated yeah we're gonna spend way more time on those this year it's gonna be really awesome some self-discovery there next we are going to create a capsule wardrobe so again, along with decluttering, we're going to work on our closets a lot. Um, we are going to try reading the Project 333. We're going to study different capsule wardrobe methods. There's a ton. There's such a variety of options out there. But it'd be so awesome to minimize the time that we spend in the morning trying to decide what we're going to wear, how we're going to get ready. Instead, we're going to have a streamlined closet with a uniform or capsule pieces that go together. It'll be so easy to get dressed. We'll understand our style and our body types and our color palettes. And we're going to dress amazing every single day because we have intentionally narrowed down what's in our closet and how we use it and again we're gonna be able to take care of all of our clothes a lot better because there will be less of them overall less inventory same with shoes and all the accessories jewelry even we're going to kind of pare down as much as possible so that we can actually enjoy wearing our favorite pieces all the time and not have to dig through an overflowing closet of clothes that we're not sure if we even like anymore or they don't fit or they're not in season no none of that we're also gonna have a seasonal box an out-of-season box of clothes we're not gonna store all of our clothes in the closet year-round anymore we're gonna switch out per season again it'll make it more manageable and less overwhelming and overstimulating for us to get dressed in the morning because all we have in front of us is the current season clothes stuff that fits that we love that goes together Oh, it's going to be so amazing. Can you picture that? Wow. It's going to feel really good in the morning just to get up and get dressed. And the last step, the last thing we're going to practice is cooking simple meals. So, this goes with all the goals because we're going to eat out less. We're going to achieve better health by cooking. We're going to spend more quality time with family because we're at home cooking meals together. But it's not going to be overwhelming and overstimulating because we're going to narrow down our menus and our cookbooks. We're going to work on cooking simple meals that are so easy and don't have too many ingredients or and or the ingredients overlap with other meals for that week. Um, and every meal is going to be one that we love. So we'll have to try. This will be trial and error. We'll have to try cooking different meals. Um, we'll take notes of how long it takes and if everyone in the family likes the meal, how complicated it is, and if we feel too overwhelmed and overstimulated making it or prepping it. Um, and instead, we're going to weed out the meals that are too hard or not um, filling enough, like not tasty for everybody. <gasps> Excuse me. And we're going to only keep the meals that are loved 
and easy and delicious and simple. And pretty soon we'll have this really amazing habit where it's just so easy to make dinner every night. We know what we're gonna make, we have the ingredients, we've just got like a rhythm going, a whole monthly plan of meals that are, that fit all the boxes and that check all the boxes and fit the criteria for um, supporting our simple, healthy, intentional lives. That's gonna be awesome. But again, that one will take trial and error. So I'll make sure to share my favorite simple meals. If you have a favorite simple meal, please comment what it is. I would love to try it and potentially add it to my dream calendar of simple, easy meals that I know I can make easily. That's gonna be a really amazing part of this year is simplifying cooking. Ah, can you imagine if cooking was easy every day? Then it would just, man, we'd be healthier, we'd be happier, we'd be saving so much money by not going out. <clears throat> it's gonna be awesome. So if you are interested in practicing these habits and creating a simplified life this year, then go ahead and follow, subscribe so we can work together on it. Or if you just want to see if I can do it and simplify my whole life in one year, go ahead and punch that subscribe button. Don't forget, I have a weekly decluttering video to help anyone who is also decluttering their home one week at a time this year. And good luck living the simpler, happier, more fulfilled, less overwhelmed and overstimulated life. We will see you tomorrow. Bye.